What's up guys, welcome back. So today we're watching Fruits Basket season two, episode three. Last week's episode ended off with all of them coming together in their feelings, I guess you could say, um, and eating soba at the table and uh, they were just kind of like hanging out again. So this week, I, I think it says something about like clothes or like fashion. And I have like a vague idea of maybe what it's about, but I, I'm not sure. So without further ado, let's get right into it. That's the first time I think I've ever seen his mom. I don't think they showed him in the season one, uh, the older one. Well, I think that's his mom. I'm really assuming that's his mom. <laughs> I think this is what I think it is. Like, how did your clothes rip like that? Oh, look at him sewing it! What do you mean? <laughs> He's literally not gonna wear that. Facts though. Yes, 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 yes. And then he, yes. This was like a shucks moment. Well, you're going to understand a lot of things. Sorry. How about you assume that like she's his princess? <laughs> that was so damn rude of him. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. <sighs> so this this is the episode I was thinking it was. It's so boring on the outside to be his entrance. I'm surprised. Is it like that? <laughs> Come on out. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually awesome. This is really cool. <laughs> He's like trying to keep his cool, trying to understand his brother. Keeping one foot in reality. <laughs> He's really just asking questions. He's trying to stay calm. <laughs> I 
I remember this whole thing. Because I loved this episode so much. Oh, they changed. Oh my god, okay. I love it. It was good, but they changed like a little bit. I believe in the old one, he was actually about to answer her question. Like, what do you want to see her wearing? And he was like, uh, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> I remember the old one, I think. Like, if, if I remember correctly, he was going to answer her. Like, he was like, uh, maybe, uh, wait. <laughs> it was so funny. I feel like the comedy in the old one was like on point by a million. Okay, don't hate me, but it's in dub because I watched this in dub back in the day. So, hold on. It's right here. <laughs> See? <laughs> he's like, do you have a request for something you wear? And that's just, just, he's just like, oh, wait, I think, uh, oh, wait. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, in this version, he didn't say that. So, there are some things I missed from the older version, but... Okay, dude, you're not supposed to spell it out like that! <laughs> He's like, you're not about to... I don't remember if they had this conversation, though. I don't remember. How's she could it go? He's kind of like your guardian right now. Well, he is your guardian right now. That's so sad. Knowing this kid, he probably wasn't even being naughty. He's not a stupid kid at all. Ah, oh, they okay. They really explain this in a bit more detail now. I, I'm so shocked that he did that. I mean, he was obviously younger too, but I'm actually so shocked that he behaved that way. I neither loved nor hated him. Aw, oh, that's messed up. That actually is really messed up. And I even the hatred he has for him is probably like I get it. It's giving us a lot more, that's for sure, so I'm not gonna discredit this version at all. <laughs> but like, the humor was- it was just- <laughs> the first one was just more crazy, just- Oh, that's what he does! That's like what he do Oh, you guys are more alike than you think! Uh, he cares for that's good. Like he cares for that like worker of his. That's good. Oh, he realized that shit. I'm being like a good older brother. <laughs> personalities but you kind of yeah you kind of yeah <laughs> oh I love this they're talking they're really talking <laughs> like he doesn't though but he kind of does I'm sure he kind of does You kind of do, don't even lie. <laughs> I 
They <laughs> 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 would do. I love them. This duo is awesome. Yes, we were, but actually, we were a lot. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but, but. Of course there's a butt. <laughs> okay, good. Cause I was like, he came up close in the last one. Okay. Ah, he said, don't hide it. I remember, this is why I love this. That didn't happen. <laughs> I don't think it happened. But he, did he actually come to see him? No. I mean, he did. <laughs> oh my god, it's the fact that he answers the phone to listen to him. Like, he knows he's just gonna be talking a lot of, like, talk, and then he still answers. He's just like... <laughs> I freaking love these three, these three friends that it's like you wish, you want to watch an anime about them back in the day too, you know? So yeah. Yes, I really loved this episode a lot. Like, I remember liking it since before. Like, this episode with going to his shop and everything, I just loved it so much. Because then Yuki had that moment where he leaned in and I was just like, sir. And then, and then he said like, don't hide it. I was like, boy, you sure? <laughs> But the difference is I am a, I don't think I am a popped in. Let me see. Oh no, okay, the scene was like yeah, the scene was like exactly the same. He was there and then he leaned over here, yeah. Oh he did pop in! I didn't remember that. <laughs> he did pop in. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, that episode was so cute. And it seems like they really touched on their relationship a lot more. Like I feel like the other one kinda gave the whole roundabout idea, like, oh he rejected him and thing. But I don't remember like much with like the parents and they talked a lot more. They said a lot more stuff. I got dumped. Who got dumped? <gasps> oh, did he get dumped? I only got dumped? By who? Who's he dating? Did he get dumped? Someone got dumped. I need to know who got dumped. I forgot. Unless this wasn't in the story. Season. So that was lovely. Um, it really came full circle in terms of like their relationship i'm so happy about where it is now i'm happy that yuki is giving ayame the time of day um i mean what he did like i didn't remember like i remember he like didn't re like i remember him shaking him off i really did but like i didn't remember that he was getting like punished by the mom at the time and like I just didn't, I just didn't remember that, in fact, I don't remember that he was getting punished by the mom at all, but like the fact that he was getting punished, his older brother saw that, and then he came running to him, he bumped into him, and then he's like, that was the first and only time he reached out to him, it was like, it was like a cry in that moment, like, he was currently in a situation, he's like, please get me out of here or something, like, please help me, and then he shook him off, like, but like, at the same time, they're siblings, right, and that's, the parent so you're not gonna like not every sibling is necessarily gonna save their, like <laughs> like I have my brothers and things 
I mean, look, in my family, yeah, there was spanking and shit, okay? That was a thing. And, like, hitting and stuff, like, punishing you, like, whenever you just went bad. Um, but I don't... Like, you're not oftentimes... In fact, you most of the time, you wouldn't even call out to your sibling. Because you're, like, you're all in this shit. <laughs> you're not gonna call... Normally, you wouldn't call out to your sibling. Um, but there's a difference if it's, like, only that sibling of yours is being treated a certain way. That is a whole nother story because then now you're seeing singled out like abuse in a way. Um, like let's say, I, I don't know if, they didn't insinuate that Ayame was treated that way when he was younger. Um, so I don't know if it was just Yuki that kind of was treated a bit more aggressively when he was naughty, which I can't even imagine what naughty Yuki was at that age. Like what? Did he draw on the walls? I don't know, but. Um, so yeah, it's like if, Yuki was being singled out with that kind of treatment. That's a different thing. It's like, I feel like, I don't know, but I feel at my age, if I was Ayame's age at the time, and my sibling called out for me for the first time, I feel like I would stand up for the kid. I'd be like, yeah, okay, like, that's enough. But they weren't close, apparently. So it's almost like, is this my brother or is this just another child living in my roof? You know what I mean? Like, is this my brother? Like. Did Ayami really see Yuki as a brother? He said he didn't love nor hate him, so he was afraid of that. He's like, yo, his existence was like... I was indifferent to his existence, so... Yeah, it's complicated. It's unfortunate that he felt that way. I wonder why he didn't love his brother or see his brother as, like, a little being I should love as my brother. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know, but there's so much around it that you can't really blame anyone it's just kind of happened but at the same time it would it would be hard to let go of such a little hand that reached out for you you know i feel like it would be hard for me to do that so what he did was pretty messed up um but like i always say people that are willing to change and try to fix something once and for all i think that's definitely something to respect and value and i really appreciate yuki also having the strength to kind of come around to his brother I mean they were both young and uh, yeah I think it'll be in his best interest too to have Ayame like on his side and stuff and of course like you know the cute little moment where he leaned in doing that thing I was like boy who taught you that no it wasn't your mama and your daddy like how he's gonna how was he I, like I love that scene so much he leaned in and everything and I was like sir do you realize what you're doing like, do you really realize what you're doing? It's a good thing she's Toru, because me, this would be a whole movie. I'm joking, it would not, but I'm just saying, like, Toru, she's a good girl. But nah, but that lean in naturally would spark something, okay, something. It would be like, it's a straight up kiss moment, like, what are you talking about? But yeah, that's it, that's all, that's all I have to say. Oh, 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 and of course, as I mentioned, you know, the three. Shigure, Tony, and Ayame, they're so awesome. They seem like such a great set of friends. Like, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all. That's all I have to say. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave how you guys feel. Thoughts down below in the spoilers. And I will see y'all again on Wednesday for Tower of God. So thank you so much, and bye!